Let's talk investment pieces. And what I mean by this is pieces that are in your closet that are worth it to spend a little bit more money on. So these are pieces that you will have for years and years and years. These are pieces that you can wear multiple different ways, right? We're not talking like high trend. We're talking those workhorse pieces that are more sophisticated, that are really timeless. And I'm going to share with you five pieces that I always recommend my clients invest a little bit more money on. These are pieces I personally invest more money on as well. And you're really investing in better quality. You're investing in the tailoring, the fit, right? The, the overall craftsmanship. So let me break down my top five and why. Number one is a classic trench coat. This baby will never, ever, ever go out of style. And honestly, it doesn't matter if you live in a place where it rains a ton or it barely rains, like here in California. I mean, actually we do get quite a bit of rain. That's not the point. The point is this is such a classic piece to throw on as the weather starts to cool. And when you have a beautifully fitted tailored trench coat, I mean, it just pulls your whole look together, no matter what you have on underneath. And also when you're investing in a higher quality, the fabric is always nicer. Like this one, for instance, instead of the, the water soaking in, it actually repels the water, which is the point of a rain jacket, right? Of a, of a trench coat. So something that you can wear buttoned, you know, knotted up closed. It's also super easy to just wear this open, almost like kind of more like a blazer. And I love the classic camel color. You can't go wrong. So if you were to just wear it open, all the buttons, and then I would just take in the back, I would just do a little, little loop, little loop. And then, I mean, hi, you're just, you're so pulled together. Literally, I have on jeans and a bodysuit. So spend the money on a classic trench. Number two, you will never go wrong investing in a leather jacket. Never, never, ever, ever. It, they last forever. Like I've had some for over 10 years. And you just wanna make sure you're, you're don't go with a silhouette that's like too, too trendy. And um, this one, for instance, like I love the oversized kind of moto bike style. If you go with a classic color, like this one's like a deep chocolate or a black, and you're gonna have it forever. Of course, you can also invest in like um, a color that's still a neutral, like a beautiful wine or a gray or like a deep green, because those are still really neutral. You'll be able to wear them multiple different ways, but you cannot go wrong with high quality leather. And the thing too, when you're investing in high quality leather, most of them, their practices are much more ethical than others in terms of how they actually get the materials. Okay, leather jacket, number three. So I am 50-50 when it comes to shoes. Like 50% of the time, it's totally worth the investment. The other 50% of the time, don't bother. However, when we are talking a beautiful suede boot, this one happens to be an over the knee suede boot, I always say, spend a little more money, just because the quality is so much nicer. It feels amazing on, they last forever. Stuart Weitzman is hands down my favorite, favorite, favorite fur suede boots. And I have a couple pair that have lasted forever and they still look brand new. Look again, as long as you take care of your things, like you're investing in these pieces. So also make sure that you're taking care of them. You're storing them properly. You're cleaning them, like you're loving on them because then it's really worth the investment. So great pair suede boots okay number four is a fabulous pair of leather pants oh my gosh i love these so if you're gonna go with a leather pant i always say go real leather versus pleather because when you're investing in real leather it's gonna last so much longer a lot of the fake leather the pleathers they start to deteriorate and also they're not that great for the environment when you actually start to do some some research so go ahead invest in a pair like especially if you go black or like a deep a deep like a chocolate or a gray it's a pant that you're gonna have for a really long time so it's worth it and the final piece that i always say is totally worth an investment is a nice handbag okay it doesn't have to be super designer. It doesn't yet invest in something that's like a nice leather. 
that's a nice quality, especially if you're going with a more neutral color, like a black or a taupe or even a red is like a really good neutral or gray because it's something that you'll be able to wear over and over and over. It'll last so much longer. Like again, with these investment pieces, what I really want you to focus on and realize here is that as long as you're taking care of them, they will last so much longer than if you were to go out and buy kind of more like inexpensive pieces every few years, right? Like this bag I'll have for 20 years. Like I'll, I will give it to my children one day, right? They will have it versus buying a, a, a more inexpensive kind of less quality bag that I'm going to wear for two years and then it's going to fall apart and then it's going to go in a landfill and then I'm going to have to buy a new one. So, and I also suggest too with a bag, you know, it's really great if you can find one that you can wear two different ways. Like this one can be the crossbody. So if you need hands free or the other way. So definitely worth it. Again, it doesn't have to be super designer, but at least go with one that's a good quality. And then my last thing, I'm going to add a little bonus for you guys, which it's again, it's a 50 50 because I'm 50 50 yet yeah, something that if you feel like you want to start investing in, I always say jewelry, um, especially when you're doing real gold because, or like, you know, like a real sterling silver, because it doesn't tarnish. So you'll be able to wear it forever and ever and ever. And it never starts to look yucky. But again, this is like the 50 50 rule, right? For instance, the rings. Yeah. But not all my necklaces are right. So it's like, you, you kind of just learn when to play. Um, when to go investment, like when to go with an investment and when not. So hope that helped and let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you love to invest in.